So we're here with uh, Coach Bruce Langford and uh, Katie Lohan of Simon Fraser after a 64-56 victory in the quarterfinals. Um, Coach, you went back and forth most of the game. Um, when was the moment you uh, you felt like you guys took a hold of the game and, and pulled away? Uh, probably that three that Katie hit. I think it was one point game at that point. And hit the three uh, just under four minutes and then left. And I kind of thought at that point that, uh, Playing, I think up to that point we've been playing very good defense, uh, but we've been getting lots and lots of open looks in the second half. We we, we didn't shoot the ball very well tonight, and um, we but we got looks. And we just said keep doing what we're doing, and um, they'll start to fall. About your defense, you uh, held their leading store, scorer, Krista Stabler, to six points in the second half and 24 as a team. Uh, what changed between the first half and the second half as far as defense was concerned? Well, I thought we did a much better job of uh, blocking out, not giving them second chances. I think they had six rebounds in the first half and only had one in the second. Um, but I also think that we um, helped off the ball a little bit more and got some deflections on balls. Um, and uh, and also the last point, I guess, would be we tried to clog up the lanes a little bit. And uh, there wasn't a lot of drive room in too many places very often. And Katie, Bruce mentioned your three that, that turned the game around. You had four threes on the night. Um, it's just another night for you guys. Yeah, you're pretty good at shooting threes. Um, talk about your shooting night a little bit. Um, I thought that we did a good job at like finding the open shooter against the zone because you can play in the gaps and stuff a little bit. So when they did go to zone, it was easier to get shots off. Um, but I thought that the penetration into the gaps and then the kicks out was more um, our style of play. We didn't do as much of it in the first half, but we definitely did more in the second half, which led to a couple more shots getting. And you guys are set to play uh, Alaska Anchorage um, on Friday. Uh, what are your thoughts, initial thoughts on uh, that game? You can go first, Katie. Katie. Um, Alaska's a tough team, and it's very exciting to get to play them three times in a season. So that's awesome. Um, we need to not be distracted by their very intense and um, in-your-face defense because you can get by that and draw fouls on that. So we need to be smart and definitely play our style of game and don't give in to the fast pace and uh, getting all frazzled with them. Yeah, we had the good fortune to play them in their place where they um, they worked the butts off and, and uh, ran us pretty good. And then we played them in our place a couple weeks ago. Actually, I guess not even not even that really maybe. And um, the game in our place was a good game. The first half, I, th I thought we came a little tentative. In the second half, we did a, a good job. And I think the kids um, understand a little bit better on how to play Alaska. Um, we certainly need to play better than we did today. We can't have a first half like we had today or we, um, we won't survive it. But if we put together two good halves of basketball, it should be an exciting game. You, know, you don't get to play the number one team in the nation very often. And um, you can't ask for anything more as a team or as a coach. Or as a, it's just uh, uh, wonderful to get to play them.